So the fact of the matter is this. Farming, seven days a week for a year on a thousand-acre farm, has generated an income of £144. Correct. Fortunately, at the moment, we have this subsidy. When that goes... Well, what are farmers going to do? I mean, honestly, what are they going to do? The ones who don't have Amazon film crews farming around and, and who wants to be a millionaire um, to yeah, top up the yeah, income. Yeah. I mean, what do you do when these subsidies start to go down? Yeah, I, there will be a... There's going to be a sea change to the rural, you know, the countryside. There'll be 30% less farmers, probably. But that's where we are with farming but in this day and age. And the next time a farmer moans about the weather, put your arm round him and buy him a pint, because... He's not moaning about it because it's a bit miserable working in the rain. He's moaning about it because it's crucifying. I was now in a quandary. I'd worked bloody hard all year and my reward was £144. Even with the grants and subsidies added in, I'd have been far better off selling up, putting the money in the bank and living off the interest. And yet, the past year had been absolutely brilliant. I'd done so many things I didn't think that I'd be able to do. I'd become a shepherd, a tractor driver, a shopkeeper, a midwife, a key worker, an engineer, and a conservationist. All in the company of diddly squats, endlessly happy, endlessly dysfunctional family. go through the whole cycle again for less than 40 pence a day. It's a question that cropped up almost immediately at our Harvest Festival picnic. That's the only thing I'm going to go for. It's one of them... What's the name? Oh. No, that was some... Um... One of these? Yeah, that's one, yeah. So, is it a year and a day since we started farming? It is. Just over. The big thing I've got to work out now is I've got a choice, realistically. I can either go back to London and resume my old life. Yeah, do that. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't had the oar. No, no, no. Do that. I think I, I don't want to go back to London now. Ever? No, I'm happy here. You like London. Let's just, you know, you love London. <laughs> and, and London suits you. And um, you've got friends in London. Yeah, you've got friends in London, you know loads of people. <laughs> you've got loads of friends here. Mm. He wants me to stay because See, I, I am a cash cow. <laughs> <for him>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you weigh it up, way I go farm. I think you're happy here. You're right, I am happy here. I said back when we were lambing that I've never been happier. Remember, we had all yeah. the lambs coming and it was a quite a nice day. And I've never been happier at work than really? I am now. Really? No. It, look at the colours there stunning. as autumn's coming. It's always stunning on the farm, actually. Whatever the day, it's, there's always something that's absolutely beautiful. The thing is, the show's now over, this one. Which Cheers, is guys. That was but great. thank you very yeah. much for all your help over the last year. Cheers. Oh, all of you. Thank you very, very oh, much. Cheers, thank you for being so patient with me. I'm going to get in that tractor now. <laughs> You're going to come back with me and put the cultivator on it, <laughs> and I'm going to go cultivating now. I thought you was going to a party tonight, you said. <laughs> In London. <laughs> <laughs>